All right, Monday night. Speaking of ugly games, Chicago Bears at Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh is a six and a half point favorite. The total for this game, 38.5 right now. I don't recall seeing a Monday night game with a total like this in a long time. What do you think? We've been talking about the Bears on this one all week. Are you still liking Chicago here? I still like the Bears. They're getting plus seven now. This line actually went up, but you have a low total of 38. Oddsmakers are telling us that points are going to be at a premium. So I really like the Bears given that, but how can you lay seven points with the offense with Ben Roethlisberger? This offense is just 23rd in EPA play, 31st success rate, 32nd in drop back success rate, and 28th in rushing success rate. They can't run or pass. They don't generate a ton of explosive plays. They're 20th in explosive run play rate and 28th in explosive pass play rate. So I, I just, seven points is a lot of points here. Obviously, a lot of underdogs have covered. So I think you're going to have a lot of the public just looking to back the Steelers on a, on a bailout game. But I, I just, I like the Bears in this spot. I think Justin Fields is improving. And you look at the Steelers. They're 0-3 as a favorite this season. They, they lost outright as five and a half point un- favorites, home favorites against the Raiders. They lost as two and a half point home favorites against the Bengals. And it's not like the, the, the Bengals or the Ravens are, or Bengals or the Raiders are that great. So I think this is just too, too many points. I'm gonna go with the Bears. Yeah, I like the Bears here. I think that the matchup sort of favors them a little bit. The Bears have been not so good against the run on defense, but Pittsburgh can't run the ball that well. Their line still hasn't been blocking. And Pittsburgh is elite pass defense. Chicago can't really pass anyway, so that's not really that big of a deal. And then the Bears will run the ball. Montgomery looks like he might be back for this game, so that'd be big for Chicago. They, they've been running well. Fields, I think, had his best game last week as a pro. So... Yeah, I just think seven points is, is just too much. When when the line is this low and the total is this low, I just don't think we're going to get a lot of scoring here. So I, I noticed Bears games this season are averaging 39.8 points a game. Steelers games, 37.7 points a game. So Steelers have yet to have a game with more than 46 points. This line, this total is pretty low, but would you think about taking the under even as low as it is here with as, as little scoring as these teams are playing in? I never want to give out a number that's moved already. So I I think it's so low that you can kind of call for sneeze and get over it. Like even when you looked at that Seattle (laughs) and and Pittsburgh game that we saw a couple weeks ago, that game went over the total. So I think this keeps creeping down. I'm going, I'm going to have an appetite for the over. Yeah, that makes sense to me. We've Hmm. talked a lot too about Mike Tomlin. You take Mike Tomlin as an underdog, you fade him as a big favorite. His Steelers just have, uh, they just like to play down to these sort of teams. So Tomlin, according to Bet Labs, Tomlin has more than a field goal favorite, 54, 69, and a one against the spread. So only covering 44% of the time. And he's on a five game losing streak against the spread. Three of those games lost outright as a favorite of more than a field goal. So that's my last question for you here. Seven points is a prime spot as a home favorite for a teaser or you know, would you tease Pittsburgh here and count on them to get the win? Do you think Chicago at like a plus 225 money line, do you think that they have a chance? Would you play either side there? I'd be looking to play Chicago. I think Chicago's live in this spot. And obviously if Khalil Mack comes back, I, I like it even more. So the way these underdogs have covered this week, I see no reason not to take a flyer on, on Chicago here. Yeah, I agree. I. I'm not going to put too much on it, but I think we both like Chicago to cover. And look, it's just math at that point. If there's only 38, 40 points in the game and Chicago is within a score, we're looking at like 20 to 16 or, you know, 19, 17. Just one of those ugly, who knows what happens games. And it probably just comes down to, you know, a fluke interception that bounced off a guy's hands or a kick that goes off the crossbar or missed extra point or something. So I think this could be a spot where, you know, when you look at the implied odds, plus 225 is 31%. I don't think Pittsburgh necessarily wins this game more than two out of three times here. So I think there's a little value there. I think we both like Chicago to get the cover as our best play. Do you agree? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. <laughs>